Oh, what else haven't we done yet? What ending we never did? Wait, what the hell? This is a different hallway. The fuck? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Welcome. But that's only because there's another ending from the first episode I want to do. Hey boys, I'm here. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, Damn it. but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Coming to a step, I forget if he goes down before went upstairs to his boss's office. I believe so, we did. Uh, let's see here. Hey, boss. Boss? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind Fuck, the boss's desk up. guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. You want to say so it? the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming new age music. Okay. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. This look familiar. Aha! Press the elevator! We're going down again! So I don't know how many endings there's supposed to be to this game, but this game probably won't be that long because of this. Well, it could be if I let the guy talk, but nah, it's fine. The you already heard this. The building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for I can't move. To question the there nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. I know, right? There's a reason why I'm down here. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Oh, wait, crap. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Lies. I don't trust you. The this door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Hmm. Uh-huh. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. I want to leave. It's an escape. Loading! Oh boy. Loading. Waiting. Bam. Hmm. <laughs> so my death will come home. Huh? Yay. What the fuck? As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, it reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. 
Oh shit. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from the moon. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Oh, that's brutal. It just... Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Uh... Oh boy! Wait, what? And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? FREEDOM! When every oh. path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Interesting, there's a few paths late. How many paths is there? Damn! What the fuck? What's in the air? Ah! So most of this aren't just different choices, they're just random shit. So what's up here? Don't hear the lady talking. Huh. The game is now part. Okay. What the hell? Ah, this just this tells you about the game. Basically, I like the credit. I can't activate it. Damn it. Oh, Lane. The office? So what's the point of coming in here? Offices? Um... Do not know where I am. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, this point, let's come in here. Don't die for no reason. Okay. Huh. What war zone? Okay. Okay. I can't read that so white. Uh, we would have been here. So there's no point coming in here. Yay! Uh, can I go back to the menu, please? Let's load up the game from right here. Before I rechose that ending. So I'm assuming that's like our paradise almost went there again.
Lights rose on an enormous room oh packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Man, so Joel. To himself. Did he? Did he have the strength? And death. Find out. Uh. Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. And apparently control too. It meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Yes. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Yes. That's why I haven't seen my wife for who knows how long. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible... You're welcome. Do we, do we beat the game? I think we put the game. I hear music. Is that a good sign? Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking. But happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Is that it? To the game? Achievement! Beat the game! Okay, that's the achievement then. Wait a minute. I, don't, I still don't understand what the narrator meant by he can't wait, the end is coming. Ah, oh, man, yeah! Oh well. Uh, whatever ending is, next, we will see each other again. Maybe.